Hey everyone, this is 60% Cat. I'm here showing the design of another game I've been working on. This one is titled Eco, spelled E-A-K-O. And it truly is just an RTS, truly. Now I'm highly inspired by Blizzard games, you could say, for like StarCraft and Warcraft. I think Warcraft 2 was my first computer game. Or no, it was my first laptop game. That's fucking fuck dumb. <laughs> or my first, maybe that was Windows, a certain edition of Windows that I never performed before where I got to play Warcraft 2. Let's say that. Who gives a hoot? <laughs> Here's Eco. Look at this island. Oh my god, there's trees in the bush. What are these guys? I guess they're guys. They're kind of guys. I'm having them try to cut these trees down. I if it's working or not. And these are berries exuding from the trees? Yes. So how the hell did you play this RTS? You build a house really quick. Oh, <laughs> instant house. What are these things? They're saplings! Julian, what is going on? What are these bars here? So, this game. You can be human, or you can be Kind of teamed up with nature you could suppose as a human you can cut down trees and then use those wood to make buildings the buildings help you populate more it doesn't really follow sex or anything like that i don't want to fucking do that and uh you know these trees grow by themselves these little meters here underneath the trees you normally wouldn't see this but this is just for debugging the green is their life and the blue is their moisture. Their moisture must be a certain level to create a berry, like you just saw there. And then once the life runs out, they die themselves. So it's a way to balance the nature's procreation. They create seeds, but they need enough moisture to do it. When there's... It's supposed to be when water is nearby, it'll have moisture. But I, I didn't have the time to really program that. I really would quickly do it. So you need to have another tree or another piece of nature close to you to have moisture, which is also relatively realistic anyways. Other roots bring moisture too. It's a, it's a function of roots. And so, but the life decreases faster as the plants are more dense. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. You need enough moisture to produce berries, but if it's too dense, then it, it's going to die. So I think this, I was just testing out this dynamic just to see how it would play out. There's some randomness, you know, where the berries go is random, and uh, and so it's fun to see how the texture of the environment becomes from just a very simple mechanic nature. And you, ah, I just want to create nature, like naturally, by itself, and actively. But that's not the main reason for this game. That is just just a mere system within the game. But it's a fun one to create right now. They can supposedly cut trees, and I don't know why it's not cutting. Maybe it's missing the log image. Because I don't see any... I think, or, I don't know. I haven't cut logs in a long time. I've been working on this nature stuff. But I can tell you about the full idea of the game. As you'd basically be against another player and you can start out as humans I think you would both start out as this fairy kind of character that can influence the environment and you can at any point turn into a human and give up all your fairy powers and get away from nature or stay as a fairy and try to use nature as your, as your race to win which would be just killing the other opponent <laughs> not very uh it's a game right <laughs> Competition. I think it'd be hella fun. I like the mechanics to be closer to StarCraft as possible. I'm inspired by a lot of RTSs, Age of Empires, Earth 2150. Um, you know, the original StarCraft is my ultimate favorite. I think the timing and the pacing and the army control, the feel of it is just so brilliant. I know StarCraft 2 is faster response and smarter AI. I, for some reason, I've I get so frustrated with StarCraft 2. For whatever reason, I just get... Spellcasting annoys me? I don't know. I really don't know. 
but I'm gonna use use these games as inspiration to drive. I also use a lot of procedural ideas from a lot of indie games. That's kind of inspiring. I want the environment to be actively generating. I want the rivers. It's actually not that hard. You just give them points, the rivers or the the whole body of water, and they just you give them a way how they grow, how they change the environment. So you could have active rivers that change pretty easily, and those rivers will affect the plants. And those plants, if you're the player as a human, obviously going to affect you based on how much food and wood. Obviously, these berries could be eaten as well. Or uh, there's animals as well. Bunnies, bears, bats. And nature gets to use those, and snakes gets to use those as uh, attack units. And you get to use them as food, I guess, if you're the human. A lot more of the design. I'm just going to end it right there. I think it's enough for now, but thanks for joining. Hope you're interested. Come join me at 60%cat.com or just my YouTube number 60, the sign percent, and then the word cat. Thanks a lot.